Test, test. This is a test. I'm going to see if uh, it's too loud around here. going to break the grass. All right. This is the end of day nine. That's right. The end of day nine. Guess what I went and did? Well, what I didn't do was I didn't press record at the right time. So, we have the end of the day, or well, beginning of day 10? Yes. Here's the beginning of day 10. And uh, so, obviously, I survived through the day 9. And uh, I will take you around and show you what was accomplished. And uh, so, let's get going. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to. However, I did do this. Uh, I don't think you've seen this one. I this is the kind of thing I like to do to villages when I an renovate the the buildings. Not so much um, that, but let me get my sword out. Uh, but I do like to decorate it more. I, I do use these. I forget what that is. I do use that block a lot, and uh, well, you can see the lovely dining area right here in this corner, with the double chairs and you know, eating kitchen uh, range and everything in this area, and the, the bedroom, living room in this area. So nice, isn't it? And then with this these were the two uh, small huts like this I couldn't can't stand them I when they when they come out I don't know why they're like that but they usually have dirt I like to go ahead and uh, uh, expand it at least uh, to be like the these huts right here they they're they got enough room in here this time I did something a little bit different is I expanded it the, the five blocks but then I made it like a duplex so you can go in eh, into this and yeah yeah you, know, you know you can see the bed and the and the chest some simple things like that in here as well in this area Oh, that's still there from when I had the whole, the roof up there when I was trying to put it in. Bottom slabs. So it doesn't spawn, nothing spawns up there. And, uh, let's see, I purtified it with the flowers and such that I had gotten. I have a nice birch tree right here and a couple oaks. And then... Well, obviously this is fully furnished right here and then this is another one I went overboard in furnishing it has all the, the fixings to move in you don't even need any furniture uh, I, if I would have spent some time I would have liked to have uh, leveled this up because it's going to get in a rainstorm it's just going to get a, a collection point for mud muddy water and stuff like that so yeah that that would have to be fixed but I ended up um, uh, smoothing this all out and typically what I would I would probably do here is just knock this line of fences out I think I've proven that the, the, there's enough light out there I maybe a couple more torches I don't know but here's the fully functioning garden. V villagers are, are out and about. I let them out last time. Or was it? I don't know. I let them out recently. Next last couple of days. Yeah. What I would have liked to have done is made a another good sized house right here. 
I saw what a couple people did, and I think, and someone, I think it was Technic, uh, made us a double story. I like that that idea. I might steal that idea. But of course, this has all the fixings of extreme comfort. You lay across here, nice wooden bed. Great, great, great. Has the furnaces and, and all that. Great area. I kind of like how this uh, well turned out. I've never turned this into a one block, but I've always tried to, to fix it the well up. But this one block water is the first time I did that. And uh, I kind of like how it is. It's, looks all right. And of course, flat. Yeah, I'm. I like flat land. Over here, um, I started to use as a tree farm, and time just got away from me. I would have liked to have gotten rid of this uh, line of, of fences and built some more houses in here. I wasn't interested in. Uh, Putting any more doors in there, but I'm, sh but uh, I've seen some some videos where they did that, and wow, that was an amazing amount of, uh, of villagers that were getting uh, born and stuff. Uh, let me make me some more. I don't like having my hunger bar down that low. By the time, you know, when I get done with this, I probably won't go back and try to purify it or anything. I'll probably be dead at the end of the of this world. Now, something I've done with these. Let's put. I just want to say that. I need to, you know, have like 20 minutes worth. I'm trying. Um, the library. What I've done in the past is I, on this side I put another row of books. And I actually open up this area right here to outside. And on this side, I would fence, fence in a, or, or, you know, through bushes or something like that. Uh, a squared area where people can have a uh, a seat and then in one of these corners I would put a mocha machine or a cappuccino machine and uh, I would uh, have a you know ah, I forget what you call that but it's ba basically books and, and coffee so people could read do that yeah didn't get that done although I did furnish it fairly nice look at that all oh, ori oh, my original ideas right there I like that and uh, I think that's about it I yeah okay I did fence that in so this is all fine I don't see anyone spawning But these challenges, the eight and nine days are not enough to do all those, all that work. <laughs> it's a lot of work just to get this uh, fertified. Well, you figure the first day you have to put out the, the lights and, or I mean the torches, you got to get torches, put torches in, get the villagers in the buildings and, and then do the landscaping or and stuff like that it takes a lot to get this done I like the I like this area this terrain this and uh, one thing about this seed is I think there's three or four villages on this plains that would be super good I may take that back I might take that back and uh, come back into this world and 
maybe not in hard mo hardcore mode to uh, connect all the vill villages via um, raised rail and have a, a little trading system going on but I wouldn't do that in hardcore because it just it would um, to do all that work and then die, and then you finally die and then no I don't <laughs> I wouldn't do that but anyways here is my village what I uh, have next is uh, I I noticed that someone was looking for uh, that uh, that what do you call it where the um, the spawner is a dungeon that's what it was and it's down in that direction I'm gonna tell you uh, right now how to get to it and then after this clip I'm gonna show another clip where it's actually at I, I, I've recorded that already but um all you gotta do is follow this this is east on that you know go east follow the, the tree line all down there across the river and it's just a little bit further it's by the by the pumpkins there's a pumpkin patch about 25 blocks away further than further east look at that these guys aren't even going inside but anyways uh, I apologize uh, for this challenge um, I just want to say is my sounds were all messed up uh, I, I recorded them all on the same day so they're all they were all bad and then I come to uh, to do uh, day nine and guess what there was no day nine it's like 40 seconds worth and it was just me in third view or third person view I don't know what you call that this view anyways um, thanks everyone for for watching and go, uh, bearing with me through all that and continuing to watch I did check my settings I got them right now and uh, when I break blocks it won't uh, make you go make your hearing go or um, the these villagers it seems to be a nice level now so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it that way well, what I did is I changed my login and my setup and everything and forgot to change those back. Anyways, want to thank you once again. Hope you uh, uh, watch me for the next challenge, which will be uh, uh, something about ca capturing witches. All right, well, have a great day. Uh, right now, I'm going to put the other clip on, showing you exactly where where that dungeon is and give you some coordinates. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves. Let's see, where is the sun? It's going up. All right. We're going to see if we can find ourselves. That, um, that dungeon... What I believe is it's around, if you hug this hill, a tree line, and you go in this direction, which, so if that, that's east. Go east. There's going to be... I think there was a river involved. And there's the river. Okay. And I'm thinking. I should cross. I think it would be in this. Okay. 
journal vicinity Maybe it's down even further. Walking down some more. Uh, maybe, yes, yeah, further down. Aha! Is this it? No, probably not. <gasps> there it is. Aha! I found it. So basically, you just hug the tree line, walk straight down, and you'll find that. Dun 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 dun. 782 and 264. And I'll go back on up. Now, if I could only remember how I did it. Get back to that village. Yeah, basically hug the tree line. You got one river to cross. There you go. So I, I, when I saw Technic looking for it, I believe she was right in the area that she needed to be. Just a little bit, maybe 50 blocks away from it. Well, I think I'm going to stick this into the into the video clip at the end. Okay, so hug it. Hug a hug a hug. And there's the the village. So close. We are back. This was my first world. And this is what, this is a creeper hole. And that's what led me to believe I was uh, in the wrong uh, game mode. Uh, I was in, not in hardcore mode. So I, I checked and sure enough, I had to redo the whole world. I was kind of upset about that. Because I had done so much to get this ready. It was a very good, sweet um, start. So, anyways, Technic, that's where the dungeon is.